plenty of embarrassing moments. Uh, I think the worst one was when we played Glamorgan Wonders at the end of last season, and we had a penalty under the post, and uh, the scorers put the three points on the board before I'd taken the kick, and I missed the kick. And I think that was the most embarrassing I've had so far. Well, I don't have to tell you that this is a very close affair as we come into this swimming pool to get underway. And all of these children will have at some time tried an egg and spoon race. But in the water, it makes it a little, little tricky. Paul's all ready to get us started with our first game. It's called Egg, Ring and Spoon. You ready then, teams? On your marks, get set. Away they go. Now, Greg Thorpe comes up. Looks for his egg with his spoon. He's got to take it with the spoon and not his hand. Adam Porton, little Phil Davis, tall boy on the far side. Now they've got to ferry these to the girls who are waiting for them on the raft. Adam dropped it, they've got it back again. Greg there doing well. Nice and delicate. He's got to get it. Tags the girl. And back come the girls, Jane Butler, Donna Peart on the far side, Teresa Porter in the middle, stuck under that rope. Then they've got to get their coit, that's Teresa Porter going ahead for Gosainen. They've got to get it over, and then the next boy's in. There it is. So Mark Watkins now, with a chance for Gosainen, who haven't won a race yet, have got their ping-pong ball, and they're away followed by Julian Smith from Astrid Gunlais and Brian Morris from Barryport having a bit of trouble. That's a good swim from Mark Watkins. Up to the side, that's all he has to do, and in goes Emma Jones. And Emma's swimming well, and the Blues are away. The Blues are away, and their supporters are getting very excited as Lee Pointer is the next to go in. There he is, good dive. Back comes Kathy Jones and Melanie Jones. But Lee got hung up on one of the ping pong balls, but he's got it now. And the others are quite a bit back. Kathy Jones just coming in for Buddy Port. Melanie Jones still coming in for Aston Gunlife. Meanwhile, Lee has dropped his ping pong ball. And he's got to pick it up. And he's swimming round and round. And Michael Jewell is second for Betty Port. Touch. In goes Lana Thomas, the last to swim. Now, once she gets her ring over that stick, all the boys have got to follow her back. Watch them go in. Watch the Blues go in. There they go. The Blues are in. Penna Royal, comprehensive school, on their way back for what looks like victory. And Astrid Gunlies with Eleanor Flaherty and Dawn Evans with Burryport are pretty near. But the Blues are getting very excited. Still going to be a swim off. The Reds are in, the Reds are in. Oscar Gunlies. And Buddy Port still to go. They must go. They've left it a bit late before they started. It looks like blue, red and yellow. Bit of help from Philip Davis waiting for them there. The Reds are second. And the Yellows are third. Good win for Gosainon. Well, after that last game, I can hardly hear myself think. We look at the scores. It's anybody's game with the last game to go. In third place, it's Gosainon with 375 points. In second place, Bury Port on 390 points. But in first place, with 420 points, it's Astor Ganleis. But wasn't it nice to see the Blues win a race? Yeah. They were telling us this morning they've got some swimmers. Wait till you see us in the pool. Is that right? Yeah. 
Are they going to win this one? Yeah. In which case there could be lots of problems because it may all well be decided on bonus points. Those bonus points have to be scored whilst balancing on a ra. So stand by for water baskets. Right, with the last game to go, let's have a good one then. Okay, on your marks, get set. Well, it's going to be a good one because it's so close. A lot of tension. They've got to get that ball to the raft, and those balls, of course, could score bonus points if those on the raft can score with them. Phil Davis on the far side, Lee Pointer in the middle. Greg Thorpe this side. Gets passed over now. Ten. They can, they can manoeuvre their raft, they can do what they like, but no bonuses. And the boys have got to wait there while the number twos come up. Kathy Jones, Emma Jones and Julian Smith. There's Emma in the middle for Gosainen and Gosain and Lee. And the other two are absolutely level. Astrid Gunwise in the red, Buddy Port in the yellow. Is that a bonus for the blues? It is. And already Gareth Jones is on his way. And Mark Watkins in the middle. And Brian Morris for Buddy Port. Perfectly acceptable to throw the ball ahead and swim after it, but Mark Watkins looks a very accomplished swimmer. And Gareth. Now, what about those 10 bonus balls? Oh, it bounced in and out. The Blues, the only one so far. They can manoeuvre their raft or their dinghy to get closer. But Lana Thomas in the middle. Melanie Jones on the far side. And Jane Butler finally on her way for Buddy Port, who are back in third. Now the Blues. Now, a little care. Yes! Bonus points there. That was Adam Porter that did the scoring. And look at this for a race back. It will all be decided on the tap when all the teams are out and the flag is off. And we know that Josh Sinan have got bonus points. And they might just have done enough. They were way behind in third. Whether they can do enough to win overall is still to be decided because it's has to have done life for a so-so. I think the Blues are out first. Astrid Gunlice are second, Buddy Port are third, and what an interesting scoreboard that will make. Well, I said at the start of that race that it could be decided on bonus points, and so it proved. Gosainen got 20 bonus points, Buddy Port got 10, Astrid Gunlice didn't get any, and my word, how they're regretting it now. But what a good heat it was.